The women we spoke to told us that turning over a new leaf and becoming self-reliant has transformed their lives. We sell soap and we also have a bank we work with, which has helped us improve our lives. Even when our husbands are unable to give us money, we provide it for ourselves. Women now know their worth and that they have strength they must use, not constantly look towards their husbands to sustain the home. Women must become job creators, especially those who are jobless and yet have an education. We started by saving 100 Rwandan francs, then we went up to 200 Rwandan francs, and we share the money once a year. We also sat down and thought of an income-generating project, and this was the result. These are tablecloths, and material 12 meters long costs 10,000 Rwandan francs. This one piece costs 500 Rwandan francs. Before I joined this group, I did not know that saving 100 Rwandan francs could help me in any way. But now I can buy clothes for myself and my child's school materials, all because of saving that 100 Rwandan francs. I also pay for health insurance. The 300 Rwandan francs we contribute every week has enabled us to buy all the necessities we need to make this soap. Coming together and contributing 100 Rwandan francs each can also do a lot. Anyone can get that sort of money, even beggars. We now sell our soap to schools, churches and even local residents who buy just enough to ensure cleanliness in their homes. To mark International Women's Day, achievements made were highlighted, but the Minister of Gender and Family Promotion pointed out that challenges still exist and that they must be tackled. In some families, conflict is so bad they kill each other and constant fighting between spouses has negative effects on the children. In some cases, malnutrition problems may arise because their parents cannot cooperate to properly feed their children. Then there is the problem of teen pregnancies. That is a serious problem because it shatters a girl's dreams, splitting them into two. The plan is to continue sensitizing women to have confidence in their abilities and funds like BDF exist to support their projects. Also, we must sensitize more girls to study in technical and vocational training schools. As for the teen pregnancies, we can only campaign against the vice in the Rwandan society, provide advice and support victims through the Isangi One Stop Center while punishing culprits. Figures from the National Women's Council indicate that in 2012, just 36% worked with financial institutions. By 2016, it was 63%. During 2012, only 24% owned land, and now the percentage is up to 62. 33% of local leaders are now women, with district vice mayors in charge of social affairs, also women at a rate of 82.8% and now also holding 45.2% of all seats on district consultative councils.